Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I don't know what's going on with me, but I am definitely in the mood for vibrant cakes. This cake and the one before. I don't know what it is, but anyway. So for this one, we're going to do an architectural, can't say that right, architectural, abstract, very vibrant cake with a glitter drip and some stenciling. And I'm going to show you how to stack this cake so that it is stable. And there is no internal structure in this cake beyond dowels. So I'm going to show you how I did that. But we're going to go ahead and get our cakes leveled and get them ready to be assembled. Now the first bottom two uh, four layers of this cake are from a cake that I did before that I stripped down and I'm going to reuse it. I wanted it to be a little taller, so I'm going to show you how I did that. And basically, I just added another layer of cake, and I crumb-coated the whole thing to get it to blend together. Now, I'm going to go ahead and on that, what tier is this? This is the middle one, middle section. I wouldn't even call them tiers, middle section. I took one tier of six, these are all six-inch cakes, and I torted it in half, added a filling in the middle, and then I'm crumb coating that tier as well. Tier, layer, <laughs> I'm not sure what to call all this. And then for the very top one, I'm gonna take two six inch cakes and stack them together, add a filling obviously, and do a crumb coat. And I'm just using buttercream as my crumb coat. But for my final layer of, of uh, it's a buttercream and chocolate ganache mixed together with a little black food coloring added to it. So I had chilled the layers with a crumb coat before I went back in and I'm doing my final coat. And I wanted to use ganache because it's a little bit more stable, but I didn't have enough of the chocolate ganache. So I'm showing you that you could actually add the chocolate ganache or any ganache with and add some buttercream to it and you get kind of a hybrid. And it's very delicious. So if you are not a fan of buttercream or not a fan of ganache by themselves, put them together. See if you like that. So now I'm mixing my color for my stencil. And I wanted it to start off more bright white. So I just added some white color mill food coloring to the buttercream to cut that yellowness out because I wanted it to be more true to color. And I added purple and pink together because I'm trying to match these flowers and I'm also trying to um, match the glitter that's gonna be in the drip. So I'll link all the, the colors that I used in the video description. If I forget to remind me and I will add those. So I wanted that purplish, pinkish purplish color, is it fuchsia? Should we call it fuchsia? To all match together. And this stencil I've had for a little while. I will look for it, see if I can add um, a link where you can get this. If I can't find it anymore, any stencil will do. I just, I hadn't used this in a while. So this is my gradiating dot stencil. And I did it from the bottom up on the bottom part. And then the top part, I'm going from the top down. Just to kind of add a little bit of visual interest. And you can, and this is just buttercream that I'm stenciling with. So you can use that buttercream stencil right on top of your ganache um, buttercream hybrid. As long as it is chilled. I always chill my, my layers in between in their freezer for 10 minutes or the refrigerator for 20 minutes or longer if you need to. That's fine too. And for this tier, I am just dry brushing on the glitter. This is an edible glitter. Um, and it sticks since it's got ganache in there. It's going to stick on that like it would just a regular ganache. So I didn't have to use any shortening um, any water, nothing. It just dry brushed on there. It took a couple coats, but I was really happy with the way it turned out. And now we're going to make our glitter drip. I'm going to add the recipe in the video description, but it's basically, and I did this in my last video too, and I just used it in a, in a different way. This time I'm making, using it in a, a drip. 
Basically, you're making piping gel. Using water, warm water, adding some Tylos to it, and then mixing it together, you're going to have clumps. So I go ahead and I put it through a sieve. And it was still too thick, so I added some more water, and I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to kind of thin it down a little bit, and I put it through the sieve again. And once I've got it to the consistency that I want, this needs to be a dripping consistency um, so that it will drip, but it won't keep dripping. So it needs to be, I don't even know how to describe it. You can see the flow right there. And I think I got the colors pretty well matched. But I am letting that kind of come to room temperature a little bit because I have noticed if it doesn't come, if it's too warm, it's going to keep dripping. So you want to let it set up for a little while. I'm still experimenting with this recipe, so be patient with me, guys. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of experimenting and seeing how it works. So I put my dowels, which are just the plastic boba tea straws, off to the side, three of them. And they're all cut to the same height, but I did two on the very edge. Now, you need to make sure that you're not poking that those straws through your final coat of buttercream or whatever it is that you're using on this bottom tier. You want them close to the edge, but not so close that it's bulging out. Maybe, I would say, half an inch to an inch in from the outside edge. And I used that sharpened dowel through that I um, lifted that middle tier up. I'm doing the same thing with the top two, two sections. Lifting it up with a sharpened dowel and then just poking that dowel all the way straight through. And that's what's going to give you your support. Now, if you were dealing with any taller tiers or heavier tiers, these are six inch rounds. So they're not very heavy. I would definitely use an internal um, structure that's going, or internal support structure that you're going to use your, um, what do you call them? The threaded uh, metal rods with bolts and um, washers. That's a whole different video. Uh, maybe I go. I will do one of those in the future here, but that's a whole nother thing. But any bigger than this, and I would go that more of a, a sturdier structure in the middle. And now I just pipe, put the um, glitter drip into the bag, and I'm just piping it like you would do a normal drip. I think it's really pretty. I love how the purple, the shades of the purple and the pinky purple all flow together. Now, I did put this in the refrigerator to set up for a good half an hour because, it, honestly, it was a little bit too warm still. If I had let it set at room temperature for another maybe half hour, I wouldn't have had to worry about that, but I just popped it in the refrigerator to get it to stop dripping. And now I am just sticking my flowers, these are silk flowers, straight into the cake. I would not do that for an order. I would wrap the ends and maybe even put some straws in to the cake itself to put the flowers in to keep it food safe. But like I always say, this is just for demonstration purposes. But that is what I would do for an actual order. And you can use buttercream to support those, those flowers also. I'm sorry that the top of this cake is cut off. I didn't realize that it was so tall that it was out of frame. The combination of that and the back of my head drives me crazy. But I cannot figure out another way to film these, you know, the assembly of these cakes because my window is off to the left there. Um, so I kind of have to stand off to the right. Uh, at some point, I will figure out how to get the best angles. <laughs> So here's our finished product. I think it's really cool. Uh, I'm really liking these architectural styles. I got another one I'm working on that I will show you probably next week. But I hope you like this one. And I hope you got something from it. I hope you learned something as always. And please like and subscribe and share. And we'll catch you on the next one.